Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to be testing and reviewing the GQ EMF 390 meter. So I use this to check the amount of RF and EF and EMF that typical smart home devices are emitting. Uh, I think it's worth knowing that information, for instance, routers, security systems, smart lighting, smart thermostats, and just check and see what's happening. Now it's got uh, three readings here, your RF reading, your EF reading, and your EMF reading. I found it to be uh, very accurate as well as you can go through the menus here and uh, change how these are displayed as well as graph over time. Now, if you reach a really high level, what's going to happen is you're going to get a audible alert and then this light will also flash. So let's just show you here. Um, I'm going to bring my phone next to this and you'll see how much this changes in terms of the RF that's getting radiated from here, the EF that's getting radiated from my phone and what's happening. Uh, as well as the EMF. Now, uh, if I put it in airplane mode, uh, everything's gonna go down significantly um, once it settles out here. So now I've got it in airplane mode and the RF and EF have gone down a little bit here. Now, if I turn the airplane mode off, okay, watch what happens. You're gonna get a big spike right there of the RF going up uh, especially when it just transmits to the tower. So it's really interesting to see what happens with this. Let's turn it back off and you'll see uh, it'll transmit for a little bit. It takes some time going back into that mode. And then your EF and RF drop significantly there. Let's turn off Bluetooth, see if that does anything. Bluetooth is off and now it's in airplane mode. And uh, it does have significant impacts uh, when you are putting this into uh, your transmitting to the tower with cellular data. So you can see how much it spikes your RF um, when you actually turn that on. And then it'll usually level out. Let's see what happens when we turn off our data, but uh, we leave it Wi-Fi. So you still have a fair amount of RF there. Let's turn that off, see what happens. And you can see every time you change it around a little bit, there's a spike. And I'm assuming that's because the phone's like transmitting the last little bit of data that it had. So turn that back on and uh, you can see there's a little spike there, but then it kind of resolves itself. So overall, a neat uh, tool to be able to measure EMF. You can measure RF, EF, and uh, EMF. Let's take that away and you'll see just how much it drops down once you take the phone completely away. Um, RF and EF uh, went significantly down and so did EMF. So overall, a great device for measuring um, electromagnetic fields, RF frequency, and EF as well. So thank you for watching this test and review of the GQ EMF 390. Thank you and we'll see you next time.